Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes and X-Plane 11. For this flight I'm in the North American T-6G Texan, which is appropriate because I'm flying through Texas. I'm going from Amarillo to Dallas and I wasn't originally intending to be in Amarillo at the start of any flight during this series, but it ended up being the case. And that's good anyway. The airport is the Rick Husband International and that's named after an astronaut, so that's good. And yeah, so this is the Camsin Studio uh, Texan, and this is a freeware plane, even though Camsin Studio does make payware planes as well. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It's a trainer. It's not a very complicated plane. It looks great from the outside. And uh, we can get started. And we are continuing on with the Apollo 13 audio. So I'm going to press play on that. All right, and hopefully that's not going to be too loud. We'll see. All right, so here we go. Okay, Ben, the battery charger's off. And, uh, Me and tail draggers, though. Okay, Jack, and uh, we'll get the back out You know how this is. That. But it's a trainer, so it can't be too bad, right? Okay, Jack, it looks like... Uh, and not a very fast trainer at that. Uh, it's not like one of those up, OP fighter planes. Like we only generated one question on the floor, and we'll uh, research that one. We'll even let you guess what it might have been. In fact, this flight is going to take a while because it's not one of if those OP flyer, uh, fighter planes. If you it over, why we're always available. Just ask us what you're thinking about. Okay, that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, wait till the Lent people get theirs, and then uh, we're going to discuss it, coordinate things here, and uh, make sure that, that we don't have any interface problems. And uh, if we have any questions, we'll be coming back at you. Okay, uh, we did run the thing integrated, so uh, we think we've got all... Uh, all there should be a highway that up. we can follow to Dallas, I'm sure. I hope so, because tomorrow's examination time. Roger. Examination right, time. Yes, sir. Appreciate the work you've done, and uh, Jack says it's going to be hard to beat his record about saving uh, SMRCS fuel all the way there and back. <laughs> I can't do much about that. <laughs> Some people will do anything to set a record. <laughs> hey, Jim, you even did good on service module fuel this time. Yeah, we're coming back with a full load almost, uh, both uh, RCS and SPS. That, that's pretty much <laughs> So, yeah, they're, uh, they're joking about the service module fuel and saving service module fuel. And, of course, that's because the service module got blown and they couldn't use the service module fuel. Okay, so they're carrying a full load. Hence, some people will do anything out. to make, set a record, like blowing the service module. <laughs> Hey, Jack, uh, don't wake him up yet. Uh, stand by one. Oh, he's, he's awake. I actually originally thought that the Apollo 13 audio would end short of the end of the sequence of hey, the Jack, 80 flights, uh, we'll uh, this, and that uh, we'd start Apollo 14, but... And then Deke says, uh, you ought to get some sleep. But I neglected that the astronauts would be not all sleeping at once, okay, and so we'd have more audio than I thought. Okay. <clears throat> On the other missions, uh, they of course three. all slept at once, so there was a lack of Battery audio. Battery charge but... off. You've already done that, Jack. Next, AC inverter, inverter two. All. Well, I'd very much like to go faster. Panel five. See, RPM is actually in the red zone. Let's see if we can pull that down. To, to bat B slash C. MF hold pressure. It's yeah, it's up up position. I don't want to like burst into flames. That'll definitely breaker, a, not be good. Slash post landing to open. Circuit breaker bat B power entry. Cylinder post landing open temperature seems rather hot. <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, what can we do about this? Panel five, 
CB battery charger. Uh, that's the carburetor air uh, responding charged. to my mixture, so I probably Open. don't want to do anything with that okay, right I'll now. Let you read that back, Jack. Probably we shouldn't climb so Speed hard, and maybe drop. I'll get some Speed air in and just go faster to cool the engine. I don't know, that cylinder temp seems to be getting close to that red line up there. Okay, that's correct. Now that gets you back to the place where you can back out of the the big battery charging procedure, which you have. And I I think you have the back out procedure for that, uh, but I, I'd like to check with you. So we're following US 287, okay. which is not that one. That's Interstate 40 over there. We're uh, directly over US 247, or... Uh, uh, yeah, the, the sort of in this window, that one. Okay, Jack. Uh, do you have that uh, back out procedure in your hand there? Ah, uh, yes, I do, Vince. Okay, just to verify, it starts out panel three, battery charge switch off, AC inverter two off, panel five, main bus type, bad AC on up, etc. Right, continue, CB, bad A, power entry, post landing open, inverter, power two, main B open, and then you reverse the steps that you had uh, for entering the procedure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and we have one other comment regarding the systems uh, checklist and uh, standby one. And that I will, think that cylinder temp is coming down a little. I don't know. I backed off on the RPM. Oh, uh, a new item came in, Jack. We need to switch to ascent water. We'll see. And I have a three-step procedure for you. If you're ready to copy. Okay, Jim will copy that. Okay. Descent water valve close. Ascent water valve to close. Oh, it seems pretty stable anyway. And water Very trainerish, as you would expect. That's correct, Jim. Yeah, we're proceeding with that right now, and how about it uh, still drinking diesel water? Uh, Jim, uh we understand that uh, you should be able to continue drinking it. Okay, we switched to have some water, but uh, we'll probably have to have a decent water valve back open up again to drink water. So this will be uh, a relatively a long uh, flight, that's certainly that's at the speeds we're going is, at uh, now. You want to drink out of the decent tank, so the so top the speed was 180. Valve. Uh, the but the cruise speed is about where we're at right turn. now, 128. It's about 300 okay. nautical miles to and Dallas. So that's okay. two two hours okay, and a little and bit. Jack back again, maybe two and a half. If we can't speed up. Okay, Vance, I'm here, and you have something in the system. Oh well, I made two that's hours right, because uh, of the true airspeed. The wind is against S us, though. Two dash six. This. Uh, Really, what we're talking about, Jack, is uh, the hatch integrity check decal. 
And I think it'll be easiest if you open to S2-6 and I explain it to you. Well, let's take a look inside for a sec. Yeah, I think it's come down a bit. Cylinder temp. The carburetor air temp is matching the free air temp, so that's probably okay. okay. I'm ready to copy. Okay. This will, this I don't just know if we can give a little bit more to the manifold uh, pressure. Down to the third line it doesn't seem to knock up anything valve, immediately. Vent for 30 seconds. Cross out 30 seconds. And cross out the two lines below that. In other words, uh, LEM CSM Delta P. This Check town in front P of us is Claude. Tunnel vent. Okay, you want me to uh, delete the for 30 seconds? That's a firm, and the, the two lines below 30 seconds, and and uh, actually the part of a fourth line there, which is uh, eight and a half minutes. Stand by. Uh, can you read okay? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay, delete the two lines below that, or the two and a half lines below that also. That's a firm, and now. We have an addition to put in place of what we deleted. Stand by when the comms bad. How do you read? Right, loud clear. Okay, we want you to <coughs> vent, uh, tunnel vent until, and add the following, until LEM slash CM delta P is equal to 3.0. PSID. Okay, until LAMP CM Delta P equals 3.0. Okay, uh, yeah, it's pretty darn steady at 128 1 knots. <laughs> I mean, indicated. In tunnel, absolute. <sighs> that's, okay. a, that's a note. Jack, that's what we want to end up with ultimately is one and a half to two there on that uh, tunnel, independent of the gauge reading. But that should be about three. Deke Slayton's okay, Deke. mic then, really uh, needs work. <laughs> Jack, continuing on, everything's okay until you get down to, on the next page, uh, you get through verify O2 flow indicator, no increase. We would like to delete everything below that until the last step, which is tunnel lights off. So starting with before undocking only, d delete all lines through tunnel vent valve to tunnel vent. Okay, delete the section that says before undocking only down to where it says tunnel vent valve to tunnel vent. Yes, through that. Well, through that, uh, leave tunnel lights off is the only step remaining. Right, and, and just uh, that's a verify. Okay, got that? Okay, uh, really what this does for you then is... Uh, no, I don't think we need to turn gives that you much. A pressure, uh, the a highway pressure integrity, or a hatch pressure integrity turns a bit later on anyway. Check with a delta P. Okay, PSI interior check. In the tunnel in the cabin. And uh, then you never go on to the steps of venting that on out. You just leave it in there for the time that you uh, separate from the limb. And that gives you a, a shotgun. Uh, I don't know effect. what this temp here is. Okay, Hopefully that down. red line is a minimum, not a maximum. Okay, uh, I think that's all, but we're polling the house here to see if there's another comment for this you. fuel quantity seems awful low yeah Aquarius well I mean there's those fuel quantities those are better I go ahead, Ben. 
Jack, that's it. That's the fuel flow. Unless okay, had, that's a, uh, that's a flow. Why, uh, the oil temperature seems okay. And, uh, oh, is that the oil flow? Well, that seems okay, okay. too. Pounds per square inch you pressure, battery, fuel uh, pressure. Back out procedure now uh, to take that. Uh, At the, the upper end. Mm, returning. No, well, a little bit. That's a firm jack. Probably uh, ought to turn off the tool tips. You, uh, I don't ahead usually and, uh, use them. The back out Ito heat? I don't think we need it, one. so Over. we'll leave it off. And where's the fuel okay. switch? Um, over there. Alright. Oh, I'll leave it be. Go ahead, Jim. Okay. Do you have any more updates for us? We still got the web updates, but we strongly recommend that you and Jack uh, work as hard as you can at sleeping for about the next five hours. Fred can handle it. Work as hard as you okay, can sleeping. Okay, we'll put Fred on, uh, on watch here, and uh, Jack and I will uh, take it easy. And uh, if uh, Fred copies the web updates, then... Uh, that will all start uh, from fresh morning. You bet. Uh, Aquarius, Houston, over. All right, go ahead, Ben. Okay, Fred. Uh, two, th uh, three things. First thing is we need a docking angle check. Uh, soon as uh, you can conveniently get it. Second point, you're free to drink all the descent stage water if you want, if that wasn't clear before. And uh, third point, if you have a piece of paper, uh, stand by to get writer's cramps. Uh, <laughs> we have something uh, to give you here. Stand by to get writer's okay, cramps. Uh, you want the, uh, again, a look at the uh, docking uh, tunnel index? Why don't you go ahead and look Secondly, at that? Uh, look at that first, yes. Okay. This is Apollo Control at 128 hours. Jim says the docking tunnel index is a plus 2.1 degrees. Okay, plus 2.1 degrees docking. Tunnel index. Okay, he corrects himself. He says make that sign a minus, minus 2.1 degrees. Okay, we just changed plus to minus. Okay, and your second item was uh, we can drink uh, drink all of that decent water that's left. This looks like about 5%. And I'll get a book here and uh, be ready to start right. Okay, get... Uh, this won't be as long as uh, as the one TK read up, but uh, you'll need several pages probably. Okay, I got uh, lots of pages here of uh, Ken's photo log uh, set to go. Okay, Fredo. Okay, this is uh, entry lem prep. Starts EI minus six hours. At that time, you power up the eggs. I think uh, I'll give you a line at a time, and uh, when I hear you say okay on that, I'll go to the next. Does that sound reasonable? Oh, okay. I'll go hot mic here uh, briefly. Okay. Bat five. Oh. Okay, read you, Just a reminder uh, that I uh, cut out the long silences or long statics where we can't hear anybody, so that was definitely an instance of that. Five, normal feed on is the first step. Okay, bad, bad, go ahead. Okay, use modified lem 
dips, RCS, 30 minute activation checklist. Okay. EI minus five hours. Mid course seven if required. Next, LEM pre-entry procedure. And, and uh, Fred, the time on uh, LEM pre-entry procedure is okay, just... Okay, go ahead. Okay, the time on the LEM pre-entry procedure is just as soon as you finish mid-course seven. Or five hours. Uh, go ahead, then. Okay. Okay, I got the TI minus five hours MCC seven if required, and now you're going to start me a new procedure called limb pre-entry procedure. Go ahead. Roger. Maneuver to SM SEP attitude. Configure for CSM hot fire. Okay. Under that, dead band max and attitude control three to pulse. Okay, the town in front of us is Clarendon. Okay. Perform CSM hot fire. Maneuver back to SM SEP attitude. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, I was looking at the map attitude there. Attitude control, pitch and roll, pulse. Yaw mode control. Okay, next, EI minus four hours, 30 minutes. Configure for CM, SM, SEP. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay. That was EI, EI minus uh, four and a half? That's correct. Uh, EI minus four and a half hours, configure for SM SEP. That's a firm, and under that, balance couple on. The intentional spinning prohibited thing is funny. Okay. Ags four, zero, four, plus zero. Four, zero, five, plus zero. Four zero six plus zero and four seven zero readout. Okay, got it. Translate plus X at point five feet per second. Then CM, SM, SEP. After SEP, null 470. Okay, stand by one. Okay. Okay, go ahead. After SEP, null 470 to zero.
Okay. Attitude control, three of them to pulse. Okay. Pitch to acquire service module for photos. Okay, note, uh, use ACA for control. Okay, we can use the ACA now for control. Roger, EI minus three hours. Maneuver and at hold for moon view. Attitude. Wait a minute. Uh, was that maneuver and at hold for moon view? Is that right? For that's a firm for moon view attitude. until CM platform release. So this is the little town of Headley. a read back on everything up to this point. Okay, I'll go back to normal voice. It might, uh, or is this pretty clear? It's clear. Okay, uh, the master title entry, left prep, EI minus six hours. First, bat five, normal feet on. Second, use modified limb, dip, flash RCS, 30 minute activation checklist. Next is TEI minus five hours, MCC seven, if required. Now we have a limb pre-entry procedure. First, maneuver to service module step attitude. Second, configure for CSM hot fire. Under that, uh, dead band max and attitude control three to pulse. Thirdly, perform CSM hot fire. Fourth, we, uh, the limb maneuvers back to SM step attitude. With attitude control, pitch and roll to pulse, attitude control, yaw to mode control. How you got that so far, man? That's correct so far, Fredo. Okay, at EI minus four and a half hours, configure for SM step. First, balance couple on. Secondly, Zero to counters and eggs. 404, 405, 406 plus zero, read out 470. Thirdly, translate plus X to 0.5 foot per second. 
Four. CMSM seven. Fifth. After seven. No four seventy to zero. Six. Attitude control. Three to four. Seven. Pitch to acquire service module for photos. And a note. Use the ACA for control. Last uh, we had you gave me was T T I minus uh, three hours. Just maneuver in that hole for moon view until we see a CM platform release. Okay, Fred. Uh, only only a minor point uh, that we just picked up uh, at the very top. EI minus six hours. The title is uh, power up above uh, bat five, normal feed on. Okay, the uh, title above bat five, normal feed on is power up. Okay, and uh, on the last, it was maneuver and at hold for moon, moon view attitude until CM platform release. I think that's what you read. Okay, ready to go on. Uh, EI minus. Are you there? Okay, uh, next is T okay, next is TI minus what, man? So this it's, is the uh, city of Memphis, or town, really, EI town of Memphis. Obviously not the more red. famous Memphis, but a Memphis okay, nonetheless. TI minus uh, two and a half. Okay, the title. Power when you're going 125 knots, from CM every CM hamlet umbilical. is worth a mention. <laughs> okay, uh, power removal from CM lamp umbilical. That's correct. Next. Assumes, this assumes all descent batteries online okay I'll put that as a note and ascent batteries five and six on normal feed Okay, this assumes all decent bats on line and after this bats five and six on normal feet. Go ahead. Roger. <coughs> Next. CSM. CB LEM Power One. Main B to open. Okay, CSM, uh, CB, LEM Power 1, main B open. Next, CB, LEM Power 2, main B open. Okay, CSM, CB, LEM Power 2, main B open. CB, EPS, sensor signal. Main B to open. Okay, maybe EPS sensor signal, main B open. Okay, next, the LEM. CB, EPS, panels 11 Wondering where the road went. <laughs> it's very green here. Die balance loads. To close. Okay, uh, on the left side now. CB EPS 11 
11, panel 11 and 16, cross side panel loads, uh, close. That's correct. Next, CB EPS, panel 16. Bat feet tie. Two of them. Open. Okay, uh, Lim, CBPS, panel 16, bat feed tie, two open. Okay. CB, EPS, 16. Ascent ECA control to close. One, high volts, high voltage to off reset. Okay, battery one, high volts, off reset. Battery five, off reset. And that little hamlet is Esteline. The the waterway we're okay, over, or uh, apparent waterway, or is five, uh, the Prairie Dog Town off. Fork of the Red River, it says on the map. Don't ask me. <laughs> and Apparently, Prairie Dog Town Fork of the Red River? Okay. Turning left. Okay, uh, we mean pretty long for a four. Battery five. Battery five. Dog reset. Dog reset. Okay. That's a normal Battery feed. Five, normal feed. Normal feed off reset. Gotcha. Okay, uh, bat two low voltage. Off reset, then on. I'm gonna check the fuel switcher. Next, bat two, high volts, off reset, then on. Let's give that a turn. Okay. Okay, still there, man? Roger. I didn't catch your read back, Fred. Oh, okay. The last item was item nine, and that was bat two, low volts, off reset, then on. Roger. After that, I gave. Another one. Another one. I sure hope the cylinder temp being off reset, that particular off. amount red is okay. Okay, bat two high volts off reset, then on. Correct, bat one high volts on. Bat one, high volts on. Bat five, normal feed. On. Okay, bat five, normal feed on. CB, EPS, 16. Bat feet tie, two of them closed. Okay, maybe EPS 16, bat feet tie, two closed. Roger. Next, uh, the LMP should transfer to the CM. Okay, 
Okay, I'll underline that one. LMP, transfer to CM. Don't let him forget you. Okay, and uh, just before uh, LMP transfer to CM, we'd like to have you add another step, Fred. That is C CB, EPS. Yeah. Airport to our right control. is Childress Munip Municipal Airport. And in front of us is the town of Childress. Minus one hour, 45 minutes. Next. Okay, go ahead. Okay, maneuver to CM, LEM, jet, attitude. And you'll have a pad for that attitude. Okay, maneuver to CM Lim jet attitude. That's a firm. Matter of fact, uh, Jack has a, a listing of your pads there, Fredo, so you can review them after this is over. Okay. EI minus one hour, 35 minutes. Configure for... Uh, correct. Configure for jettison. Okay. Under that, verify... CM free. Verify CM free. Okay, next the COM configuration. S band. PM. Prime. Uh, hold on, say again now. Okay. Next, uh, comm configuration. Uh, this is for the command module? Negative, uh, the, uh, the step above w for CM free was command module, but the, the comm is for LEM again. Okay, go ahead. Okay. S band, PM, primary, primary again, off, TCM. Range off and high. Okay, our S band, our S -band config is the PM prime prime off PCM range off high. That's correct. Stand by one. Do you have any druthers about 
Uh, which Omni? Yeah, select best Omni. Select, uh, did you say aft or best? Best. Best in the West. <laughs> okay, I was wondering if that's still going to be best after it leaves. But okay, select best Omni at the time. That's affirmed. Okay, we've covered COM, Fred. Next, ECS. Okay, go ahead. Okay, under ECS. Forward dump valve. Close. Forward dump valve closed. Suit circuit relief. Circuit relief. Auto. auto. Suit circuit relief to auto. Cabin gas return. Cabin gas return. Egress. Egress. Suit gas diverter. Egress. Gas diverter. Egress. Suit isolation valves. Two of them disconnect. Pressure regs A and B close. Regs A and B to close. Cabin repress valve close. Suit fan off. How many more steps, then? Uh, two after this, Fredo. Okay, stand by. Maybe you need a scroll yet. <laughs> yeah. So I ask him why all these steps just to get rid of a lift is going to burn up in a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Get to sleep, Jim. Jim's totally grouchy. Okay, the last one was suit fan off. Hey, Jim, Deke said he thought you were asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Caught. Again, Deke Slayton's their boss, so. All these steps woke me up. Okay. We'll try to be quieter. Except I don't know how. Okay, Fredo. Uh, did, you get my audio breaker, huh? <laughs> did you get uh, suit fan off? Yeah, suit fan off. Okay, circuit breakers. Panel or circuit breaker panel 16, rather. ECS cabin repress to open. Okay, CB panel 16, ECS cabin repress open. Raj, overhead dump valve closed. Maybe Jim has a point there, though. Yeah. Over 
dump valve closed than it is already. Right. Okay, uh, that's all for the ECS. Next, attitude control three to mode control. Okay, stand by one. Oh, stand by one, uh, Fred. We'd like to uh, change the position of that attitude control three mode control to be just under CM free. That's a more convenient time. Yeah, I agree. Okay, under, uh, it'll be my item B. After verify CM free, is that control free to mode control? And uh, along with that dead band max. Okay, free to mode control. Comma, dead band to max. Next, verify. Uh, uh, if I don't sound too clear, it's because I'm holding a flashlight between my teeth. Roger. Mm. Okay, uh, okay, now. I'll ask a question. Go ahead, Rand. Okay, now, again, down at the we bottom are over of the ECS. Quana. Verify transfer list. Q-U-A-N-A-H. We're just south of the Texas-Oklahoma border. Okay, I believe that border is delineated by that river to our IBT to left. CM and close hatch. I wonder if that's still the river with the funny name. Uh, what was that? What was the first part of that? It's got to be. I mean, it must be the uh, Red River, Red River to the CM. now, right? Or, or rather, Let me see. Uh, IVT, that's Need a better map. CM and close hatch. Okay. That's correct. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's all for the timeline, Fred. Now the contingency checklist, if it's handy. Okay. Which page? Turn to 30 minute yep. activation. Yeah. Uh, that's the Red 24. River. Red River. I don't know what was up with that funny fork name, but... Okay, I'm there. Okay, now, at this point, you have uh, this section marked that up already. Even Google so Maps has it, Prairie now, Dog Town uh, Fork Red River. I don't see where it forks, though. Because okay, right. it's pen, so the same Red River better. that okay. forms the Oklahoma-Texas okay, border. And nothing merges right. into it. Mer nothing Verify separates off from it. Status switch off. Beats me. That's an addition. Uh, uh, do you mean uh, under IBT to LIM number four RCS system AB2 quad four auto? That four? Uh, that's a firm, yes. Uh, it's the the only four on on that page 24, and it's a it presently has after it RCS system A B two quads four to auto. Under that, put put verify X status switch to off. Okay, verify X status switch off. Okay, at the bottom of the page. Uh, okay, you already have that mode control both off.
Okay, next page 26, circuit breakers. Okay, go ahead. Okay, first row is okay as is. Second row, under flight displays, GASTA should be closed. Okay. Under AC bus A, close GASTA. Okay, GASTA flight displays and AC bus A will be closed. Roger, that's all on the second line. Now the third line, under stability and control. ATCA pings to closed. That's all on that line. Fourth line. Near the right side. LGC standby to closed. And. Uh, wait a minute. You mean LGC Disky? Or LGC Disky, I'm sorry. Okay. And IMU operate closed. Okay, IMU operate closed. I don't know how to pronounce this town's name. Chillicothe? Chillicothe? Okay, advance, uh, IMU operate closed. That's correct. Okay. Something like that. Fourth row is okay as is. Now we would like to, uh, Add, a le uh, add in a late arrival to row two. Under, under flight displays, mission timer closed. Okay, flight displays, mission timer closed. We, we can look at the ghost. So remarkable how much of a disarray the <laughs> land yeah, looks. That's right. Okay, that's it's all like for uh, that page, Fred. It's a very, varied landscape, isn't it? All closed on that page. Advance, Jim. Go ahead, Jim. And we look seriously now at just the... I think uh, it sort of gets a little bit more orderly up front. Uh, we're not... Uh, I don't think we have the time uh, to really uh, do any uh, engineering data that people might want to look at as the thing goes into the atmosphere. Well, Jim, I, I think that uh, that was what everybody aimed for, and, and people down here feel that it's the essentials, that uh, it's what you need. Well, we'll do everything you think is essential, but uh, I just don't want to be throwing switches at the last minute uh, while we're really thinking about getting that command module in good shape. Hey, uh, Jim, this is Tom. The only reason we're bringing up the things is to have another reference system just to control the limb when you jettison the thing. Over. Okay. Okay, Tom. It's, uh, I thought the uh, an exact hole would have been sufficient uh, for this uh, when we first thought about this. Yeah, I agree, but uh, they decided just in case we have any glitch with the eggs, we want to make sure we get that limb off in a good shape, and I agree with you on, all, on uh, keeping out all the garbage on it. Okay, Tom. Hey, would you like to have you, Would you like to have us play some guitar music to put you to sleep? <laughs> oh, you know how to get that guy. We'll even have a twelve-string guitar for you, Jimbo. Twelve-string guitar. Okay. Okay, Fred. Uh, pitch twenty-eight. Okay, I'm looking at uh, panel sixteen now. Uh, no, no changes to panel. No changes to panel 16. Okay, I'm on 28 now. Right. Okay, at the top of the page, under step four, just above VHS S band activation, put in delete power amp and LGC. 
These are caution lights. Okay, you mean delete uh, preamp? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, preamp and uh, LGC. Okay. Okay, uh, under VHF S band activation and checkout, step two. We have changes to the comm as follows. Go ahead. Okay, uh, now this city here is Vernon. Down and down voice. That leave that'll give you a voice. Okay, that's where we had it left then. Okay, we're, and, uh, we're about like halfway there. Ranging. Told you about two hours. Okay, huh? instead of off reset, uh, put ranging. That's correct. Normally, I've tried to keep these flights to one hour or so, but, well, this okay. was an appropriate plane for okay, the flights, uh, and I couldn't resist, so here we are. Add in steps one and two again, which are uh, no attitude light off, verb 96 enter, and set event timer. Seems less shiny right now, though. Okay, steps one and two back in. I think, uh, is it... That's a firm. Where's and the sun, anyway? Underneath set event timer, add the following. Oh, the choppy. I wonder if we're loading Verb Dallas or something. That's oh, there. It should still be sunny. Hmm. One, two, five, but, yeah. seven, enter. So we're only a dull glow on the body. Okay, go ahead, man. Okay, yeah, I'd one, say two, the five, enter, then landscape up ahead is enter, getting a little bit more regularized than enter. what we've seen so far. Okay, uh, after event set of end timer, it's verb 25 down 0, 07 enter. 1257 enter. 252 enter. Enter. Roger, in this Again, Oklahoma is right over there, right across that river. Roger, what this does, Fred, is activate up-firing jets. This uh, little oh, offshoot of the Red River is the Reese River? R-E-A-S-E. -E. Okay, I got it. Okay, next, same page under DAP. Set gimbal drive. Go to step two. Okay, add in after noun forty six three two zero two one. Okay, three two zero two one. Okay, proceeding on down below the noun 47 to the proceed, insert verb 34, enter, after the proceed. And that would come before the noun 48. Okay, we have some noise here, Fred. Uh, stand by a minute. That. Hey, that helped. Okay, no changes now on 29, 30, and 31. Next page is uh, 32. Okay, I'm on 32. Okay, at the very first step above guidance control AGS, put in verb 76 enter. Okay, below guidance control eggs, the third step should be changed to be mode control both to at hold. Okay, you want mode control both to at hold. 
That's affirmed. Okay, at minus six, six hours, or six minutes rather, under mode control pings at hold, which was scratched out, insert verb 41, noun two zero, enter. And three more enters. So, so it's uh, as okay. shown in your procedure there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Course line zero zero zero. Below that, put in uh, Dita four hundred plus five. Okay, four hundred plus five. Okay. Okay, we want back in again the next step, which is at burn attitude, verb four zero noun two zero enter. Okay. Okay, proceeding on down. Delete at burn attitude and the step above it, which is 400 plus five. Okay, that's all for page 32, Fred. Next, page 33. Go ahead. Okay, under four minutes, minus four minutes. Add back in, mode control both to add hold. So, deviating a bit. Okay, two steps below that, add back in TTCA Commander Throttle Min Dips, uh, and add in Dips. Uh, wait a minute. Stand by one. Yeah. Seems like he should be in Jets. Is this going to be RCS or dip burn? Okay, this will be uh, jets for RCS and uh, throttle for dips. Yeah, what I'm saying is, what is uh, this FCC likely to be? I thought it was going to be an RCS. Well, we uh, we expect that, but uh, we're remaining flexible. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll put it uh, TPCA uh, throttled in for dips, uh, jets for RCS. That's correct. Okay, so this town to our forward left is Electra. Page 34. Okay, 34. Okay, uh, beneath everything on that page, add in the following. Return to entry. Lem prep check. Return to entry. Lem prep checklist. Uh, hold on, Vance, I don't understand. Uh, we want to delete everything on page 34? No, that that's not correct, Fred. Uh, what we want to do is uh, leave everything the way it is on 34 and, and add this one comment I'm giving you at the at the bottom of it. Oh, okay. 
Okay, I misunderstood. Okay, go ahead with your edit comment. Return to entry limb prep checklist. At EI. Uh, said, turn to, turn to uh, entry limb checklist. That's a firm at, at EI minus five hours. Okay, at EI minus five hours. Let me take a look and see how that flows now. Okay, and, and also you have okay, a... Okay, that would be the limb, uh, limb pre-entry procedure. Yep, okay. That, that's correct, and uh, also on that page you from our last uh, correction uh, or addition exercise, you have a section called reestablish PTC. We'd like to scratch all of that, of course. Scratch. Okay, Fred, uh, that's all except for one comment uh, that we have in just a second. Stand by one, Fred, we're polling the room for comments here. Uh, any last minute thoughts from people? We'll be right back with you. Okay. Aquarius Houston. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Fred, uh, just Two changes, uh, comments to what we just gave you. Uh, the first is near the front at EI in the section under EI minus two and a half hours. Power removal from CM lamb umbilical. We'll let you turn to that. Okay, I'm there at EI minus two and a half hours. Power removal from CM uh, lamb umbilical. Okay. Under LEM, we have a step BAT2, low voltage, off, reset, then on. Uh, next, we have a step BAT2, high voltage, off, reset, then on. We request that you wait in between these two steps for us to give you a go. In other words, we'd like to look and see that all the relays closed and all that sort of thing before you throw BAT2, high voltage, to off, reset, and on. Okay, after uh, back to low voltage, off, reset, I'll uh, then on. I'll wait for this to go before proceeding. Righto. Okay, next. At uh, under the section of EI minus one hour and 45 minutes. No, change that. Uh, correction, EI minus one hour 35 minutes. Refer to the ECS section and uh, we have a change. Hi, go ahead, Ren. Okay, Jim's right. We should uh, cross out all this uh, stuff <laughs> uh, with a couple of exceptions. <laughs> Forward dump valve Jim's closed. Jim's right. We should cross the out all this stuff. Should Gosh. All other steps should be scratched except for the last one, which is overhead. All dump that valve copying closed. down of procedures. Steps. I mean, logically, uh, they are going to dump 
the lunar module and IVT of course meaning they're uh, not gonna have a whole lot of time C CDR transferring to the CM I suppose when all this has to be done anyway so best to expedite this is okay, Iowa Fredo, Park uh, that's uh, that's the changes uh, not quite as extensive as the CSM had but still pretty long any uh, comments or questions? I guess it wasn't all of them. I mean, uh, the, the, he just cut out uh, some of it. Without no, having uh, the procedures in front of me, I can't tell how much got preserved. Okay, very We got good. some clouds uh, baked into the terrain here. Uh, aside from the checklist, we've been watching your descent stage water, and it looks, uh, or, or your ascent stage water, and it looks real good. We're approaching Wichita Falls. Okay. Fred, we're going to uh, try to refrain from uh, calling you from now on so that you can uh, maybe get a couple of winks. Uh, we'd, we're getting a status around the room first to see if uh, anybody has any comments for you. And after that, we'll try to leave you alone for a while. Thank you. Hey, Fredo, are you there? <laughs> uh, go ahead. Okay, uh, we pulled the room. We don't have much for you. Only comments uh, as follows. Your consumables are looking good. Your entry gamma right now is minus 6.01. We're expecting a mid-course of 2.81 foot per That's second. It's Wichita Valley Airport to our left. Okay, Fred, see you in the morning. And to the north there is Shepard Air Force Base. Also, apparently, Wichita Falls Municipal Airport. Nine hours, 43 minutes. Uh, recounting events since the uh, change of shift about three hours ago. Pretty large We've complex. Passing up to the crew checklists for both the command and service module and the lunar module. I don't know how exactly Every that's listed here. At uh, about 120 Shepherd Air Force hours, Base. Minutes, we had the crew uh, switch over from the descent water tanks, which were down to about 5%. We don't to seem the, to have uh, this stage water tank. additional Wichita Falls so Municipal Airport the, uh, thing. They could drink all they wanted from the descent tank. At about 127 hours, uh, 59 minutes, the uh, battery charging was terminated. Uh, using this had been accomplished using power from the LEM uh, batteries and uh, using that to charge the command module entry batteries, two of the three uh, CM entry batteries. At the present time, Fred Hayes is on watch. Uh, Jim Lovell and Jack Swigert uh, are uh, scheduled for about five hours of rest. We're also uh, planning to place a minimum of calls to the uh, spacecraft to allow Fred Hayes to get a bit of rest also at this time. Yep, things are loading. Officer. And uh, the retro officer, the return what things? Officer, uh, currently predict that uh, maybe our more Dallas things. Angle, uh, will be minus well, better be. Degrees without a Should take correction. a large city in order to uh, halt us like this. Correction, okay. Correction seven, which would be five hours prior to entry interface. And as it looks right Still now, this loading things. Correction would be uh, quite what? small to put us on the desired flight path angle of about six and a half degrees, negative six and a half degrees uh, interface, entry interface angle. To accomplish this, uh, it looks as if we would have about a 2.8 second well, or 2.8 foot per this second. cluster of uh, burn stuff at the edge of my map the is. Oh, there's the FW. Reaction control system no, thrusters. not that one. Uh, this would require about 21 Dallas seconds. Dallas Fort Worth International. During the course of the evening, uh, 
both Deke Slayton and uh, Tom Stafford have been standing by the Capcom console, occasionally interjecting a comment. Oh, landscape has certainly point, gotten uh, more pleasant. While Fred Hayes was uh, receiving the uh, lunar module entry checklist uh, with a hot mic, with his mic open, we heard a comment from Lovell, which prompted a remark from uh, uh, Deke Slayton that, uh, to the effect that he would play up some guitar music if I thought that would soothe Lovell into uh, getting a bit of rest. Ken Mattingly has also been in a good part of the evening. We don't see him at the uh, at the console at this time. Well, let's take a look Our inside for a bit. Our up until uh, just a few minutes ago was astronaut Vance Brand, and he has since turned over those duties. Oh, nothing looking abnormal right now. At 129 hours, 46 minutes, Apollo 13 is 87,684 nautical miles. A correction, 74,900 nautical miles from the Earth and traveling at a speed of 6,999 feet per second. All of the consumables aboard the uh, LEM remain in good shape at this time. We've uh, had Fred Hayes remove the LEM power amplifier and uh, in effect reduce the effective uh, power output, radio frequency power output from the LEM from about 20 watts to about uh, 1 watt, uh, which is the normal power down configuration we've been in. Uh, Maybe the, the areas to the west were just as taken as at a, a less photogenic the season, antennas, perhaps? Uh, rotate through the so-called null areas uh, where the signal to noise ratio drops off. We get a, get a high noise level. And this will persist until the spacecraft rotates through to where we have a good uh, walk up on the LEM antenna again. At 129 hours, 47 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 130 hours, 36 minutes. To our right is Lake the Arrowhead. The officer just reported that uh, continued tracking data shows the uh, uh, spacecraft uh, to be uh, within the entry corridor, uh, still at about the same uh, entry interface angle as uh, previously reported. Uh, the tracking at this time shows that our entry interface angle remains at about uh, minus 6.03 degrees. The mid-course correction planned for five hours prior to uh, re-entry, which would be about seven hours, three minutes from now, is planned at this time to be 2.81 feet per second. Uh, that would be about a 21-second burn with the spacecraft, uh, the LEM reaction control system thrusters. Uh, in about uh, an hour, uh, Flight Director Milton Wendler plans to go over once again with the flight controllers all of the step-by-step -step procedures which the crew will be following tomorrow uh, prior to entry uh, with the command and service module. At the present time, Apollo 13 is uh, 71,483 nautical miles from the Earth, traveling at a speed of 7,192 feet per second. Uh, all of our consumables on the LEM uh, remain unchanged. We're in good shape on uh, water, battery power, and lithium hydroxide. Uh, the present level of carbon dioxide as measure, measured uh, in the spacecraft and telem uh, telemetered back to the ground is uh, yep, about another four pause. tenths of a millimeter of mercury, which is very good. We're showing a total average current on the LEM at this time of uh, between 10 and uh, 12 amps, which is has been the normal amount we've been running in the powered down uh, mode with the lunar module. At the present time, uh, all three of the astronauts are apparently uh, resting. Hmm. Uh, astronauts uh, level. This is a very slow plane. Slider. It could surely load this period. stuff a little bit smoother than At this. About 128 hours, 17 minutes. We did hear uh, once or twice from Jim Lovell after that period. At uh, 129 hours, 39 minutes, or about uh, one hour ago, 
I don't we know if completed passing the lunar module it shouldn't be the case that using the script makes any Hayes difference in this case. That, uh, we would keep communications to a minimum in the hope that he would be able to get a little rest also. At 130 hours, 39 minutes, this is Mission Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 131 hours. At this point, uh, the source of the audio uh, is different. I had promise with the archive.org audio that I had been minutes, using before. Uh, and so I got this ago. off of... Uh, Apollo, uh, Apollo 13 in real time. Well, it's Apollo in real time dot org, and it's the Apollo 13 section. So we'll have little bits of mission control talking as well. On the right side, it's uh, probably more cleaned up than the audio I had before, because the person in charge of Apollo in real time, Ben Feist, did a lot of work on it. At this time, we presume that all three crewmen aboard the spacecraft are resting. At the present time we show Apollo 13 to be... On the other hand it'd be cleaner anyway because they're closer to the Earth and they're using high gain more often for all the important stuff. That's the town of Henrietta. And increasing ever more rapidly as the spacecraft Near Earth. We're now six hours twenty-five minutes from the scheduled mid-course correction, which will put uh, Apollo 13 in the center of the entry corridor. And we're eleven hours twenty-five minutes from uh, the beginning of re-entry. At one hundred thirty-one hours sixteen minutes, this is Mission Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 131 hours, 47 minutes. Apollo 13 now 66,596 nautical miles from the Earth, traveling at a speed of almost 7,500 feet per second at the present time. And we're some 10 hours, 53 minutes from re-entry. Five hours, 53 minutes from the scheduled mid-course correction maneuver. Course correction seven, which is targeted to put Apollo 13 in the center of the entry corridor. Our last communications with the spacecraft was at 129 hours uh, 39 minutes when we completed passing up the uh, lunar module pre entry checklist to Fred Hayes. And we presume that uh, all three of the crewmen have been resting or at least uh, relaxing uh, since that time at uh, 128 hours 17 minutes uh, or about uh, three and a half hours ago Fred Hayes and uh, or rather uh, Jack Swigert and Jim Lovell uh, were scheduled to begin a rest period and although we did hear from uh, Jim Lovell once or twice after that time. Well, we have not heard from Jack Swigert uh, since the, uh, the rest period began. At 131 hours, 49 minutes, this is Mission Control standing by. This is Apollo Control at 132 hours, 29 minutes. Fred, are you sleeping? Fred, in a couple minutes, we're going to uh, hand over to Honeysuckle, so there'll be uh, our uplink will be terminated. We'll contact you. When we get it back. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, you're coming through good now, Fred. And, uh, I've got three deltas to the checklist. Uh, there are minor changes. I'd like to pass them along now. Whoa. One of them is to the Actually, uh, that's not. CSM checklist. Hope you I that don't up. often do the straight top down view, but it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, but probably not something we need to hang out on. Okay, uh, stand by. One, uh, Jack wrote them all in the big long lead out. He also wrote something like in the book. Uh, we also noticed that, uh, the thing it's in the, uh, big long one he wrote out at, uh, about, uh, EI minus 230. EMS entry check. Okay, he's coming back down with it. Yeah. Meanwhile, Fred, I've got two for you on the, uh, Lamb prep checklist. Okay, Jack, you're doing that. I'll hand it down. Okay, Houston, Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. Uh, I got a couple uh, changes for you on your uh, CSM checklist. Okay, stand by one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Jack, uh, the timeline between EI minus 2.30 and one hour is real crowded, so you're really going to have to hustle. And we've uh, decided to delete the EMS entry check at minus 2.30. That'll give you a little more time in there. What we've decided to do with it is wait until after EI minus 1, just before you initialize the EMS. If you have time, and only if you have time, do the EMS entry check. Otherwise, forget it and go right on to into EMS initialization. You understand? This apparently happened a couple times in the last year. Okay, you're going to delete? I'm not sure what caused it. It may be rushing. Between 2 hours and 30 minutes and uh, 2.15 there. And you're going to add it if there is time, only if there is time at EI minus one hour where the EMS initialization occurs. That's right, you got it correctly. What's the story on the verb 74? Okay, Jack, one other item. Just before EI minus two hours, 15 minutes, we need a new memory now. Verb 74 enter. Over. Okay, stand by one, would you please? Okay, right before two hours and 15 minutes, I assume that's before uh, uh, Miss Finn gets their P27 update. I do a verb 74, right? That's affirmative, Jack. Okay, you come flight. Okay, does anybody have any reason for not uh, giving, uh, giving a shot of S band data after Black Ace? As far as I know, negative flight. Okay, where's How the much sleep did you get, Jack? Yeah. Uh, just the S band power amp. Uh, that's the CMC. Oh, I guess. Uh, 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 Stand by. Tell me, flight, that's the first band. I back. guess uh, maybe two or three hours. It was right. awful cold and. Uh, it wasn't very good sleep. Right, did you plan to try to get any more? What uh, GET do you have? We got 132.37. They've got about 10 hours left. Back to close, is that right? That's correct, Mike. They're really about to close. They might mention that they're going to make that come back down to the chapter before. Of well, course, the last two I hours are going to be frantic. Done, uh, I'll uh, try, but uh, I tell you, it's 
almost impossible to sleep. Uh, Roger, uh, the way we're looking at it, uh, looks like you ought to have a couple, three hours in here before you have to really get with it. Now, we'll, we'll take it easy, but I, you know, we'll try to sleep, but uh, it's just awful cold. Present data indicates that your uh, entry angle is minus 6.03 degrees. Your delta V at the mid course is going to be 2.8 feet a second. This is the town of Bowie. I think it might be worthwhile to deviate from US 287 at this point because it heads down to Fort Worth. And so we really want to be a little bit east of that. And, uh, we need the so we're just going to uh, go freeform finally, instead of following the highway. Hopefully we won't miss Dallas at this point. We're not that far away. You can see where we are here and the whole slew of airports around the Dallas area. So we should be good. Uh, this checklist has me changing a, opening a EPS sensor signal circuit breaker right prior to turning off LEM power. Is uh, I'd like to find out uh, which checklist is correct. Once we get closer, I'm going to switch back to the right tank. Hey Jack, the, uh, the LEM checklist is just for information to Jim, it's just to tell him that uh, that you're changing back to uh, command module power. Your uh, checklist is correct. Okay. 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 The, uh, I guess the point there is that we want to be sure before we... Uh, and what do you uh, figure that uh, you'll be setting up the pads that uh, you have? Fido, when are the pads going to be available? When's the pads going to be available? Uh, for the maneuver pad flight or the other? All of them. Okay, any of them. Yeah, around 630 is the uh, move viewing attitude. Okay. What about the maneuver pad? Okay. Yeah, okay. Aquarius, all of your pads will be coming up in about three and a half hours at EI minus 630. And uh, one thing we want to remind you of, when you remove power from the command module LEM umbilical, is to be sure that you uh, open the LEM power main B circuit breakers, both of them, before you start uh, throwing switches and circuit breakers in the LEM. Do it as we've outlined it in the procedure in that order. Over. OK. That's the way we plan on it. We'll let, uh Jack to his three, and then he'll tell us when, he, when we're going from there. Uh, what pages are the changes on? Okay, Fred. Uh, one I've got for you is uh, at the end of uh, power removal from the command module limb umbilical. And uh, just for your information, after you go through that entire procedure and uh, about the time you're ready to transfer to the command module, at that time, power will be removed from the umbilical and it's uh, okay to disconnect it. Well, can't see that signs of the city uh, yet. Throwing the switches in the limb. Is that clear? Uh, Roger, that's uh, where I got a remark here to uh, check with you to see if it's all right to proceed. Roger, and that would be uh, just after on panel 16, you open the S and ECA control breakers. About 50 miles. Uh, which step number is that? Uh, Capcom, I think we 
got him confused here on this, this point. We, we told him that we had to wait for a mid pin go between battery two, low voltage and high voltage. Uh, and the confusing like thing is, Jack, uh, where they told me to wait for Miss Ben Go before proceeding was that bat two low votes off reset then on. Still solid. Okay, that's uh, still affirmative. Uh, we'll give you a go after waiting five seconds. And then uh, down from there, just a few steps. After you have opened the S and ECA control breakers on panel 16. Okay, still point, nothing abnormal right now. The umbilical is not powered, and it's okay to disconnect them uh, should you care to do so. Okay, after the last step, then I'm uh, free to disconnect. Right. And uh, one other change we have is uh, shortly uh, after that, where we're configuring for jettison, we have uh, closed both the forward dump valve and the overhead dump valve. And uh, we don't want to uh, get in a locked up position like that, so uh, one way to get around it is to after we close the forward dump valve, turn the descent oxygen valve off. Over. Okay, after forward dump valve, add a step in that says uh, descent uh, ox uh, valve off. Okay, Fred, that uh, concludes the deltas. And uh, perhaps you heard that our gamma is uh, still minus 6.03, and our delta V will be a 2.8 foot per second RCS burn. Roger. Capcom. Yeah, there is. We ought, we ought to we ought to just exit this line from the checklist where it says the CSM thing. It says uh, uh, EPS sensor signal main V open. That that shouldn't even have been included in. Checklist. That, that's the confusing thing that he mentioned earlier, and we don't want him to open that. And that you, you told him the right thing to do in the, in the command module. So we're getting the mission control no, stuff, not all of it. I won't include every little bit of it, but we're getting some uh, of it. So we've got one more change we'd like to uh, give you to clarify. A background talk. Asked earlier at EI minus 2.30. And we'll have that for I'm the rest of the I'm way Jack. through. I'm going to have to call Jack back down. I'm uh, not familiar with uh, the previous discussion. Oh, negative. Uh, this is on your checklist. Okay, go ahead. Okay, at EI minus 230, during power removal from the umbilical, first thing we uh, do is two step for the CSM. We open the main B, the LEM power to main B circuit breakers, and then there's a third step which says circuit breaker EPS sensor signal main B open. Just delete that step. Over. Okay, delete the uh, third step. Okay, Capcom, what I'd like to do now is uh, is to uh, go ahead and soak up this range and then run over these command module checklists again to be sure that we've got all the deltas that we need to, to send them out. We haven't really done that yet, and then we'll be squared away, I think. Uh, you got anything more immediate to uh, tell them about while we've got them on the hook here with good calm? Or you want to uh, well, the calm will stay, the calm will stay good because we're going to stay with the power amp on for a while. But uh, no, I don't think so. We've, we've told them all we need to tell them right away. We're not completely ready to tell them everything about the command module thing. So it sounds like we're done. Unless anybody's got something to tell them, I don't remember. Okay, the ECOM is, is running down a change he's got now, so we'll postpone that command module of our checklist discussion. For and uh, Aquarius, for your information. Yeah, maybe the landscape out west was just a rough season. Including our plans for power up. If it was greener like this. 
probably would have looked uh, all right. Water remaining from this point. I mean, there's still sort of. Okay, 18 hours. I don't know what exactly is going on here. Occasionally, there's fields and such, but. Hello, Aquarius, go ahead. Okay, Jack, uh, this is Jim. I just want to make sure that you still are any of the changes to the checklist that come up to make sure they're absolutely essential. Uh, when we learn our procedures, we can only do it one time, and we can't make changes at the last minute. Uh, we like to do the best uh, and the safest way possible, but unless the changes are really essential, don't bother setting them up. Roger, we won't. The uh, chairman of the CPCB is uh, still active. And uh, one thing we're trying to do is to save you all the time we can in between EI minus 2.30 and one hour. That's a, firm. That's a real important time. Entry interface uh, two minus Jim, uh, two hours and 30 minutes. So basically right before two and a half to one in there, the entry into the atmosphere. Uh, pretty tight. So we've tried to weed out what we could, which isn't much. But I think the other message you might impress on Jack when you get around to lining that uh, platform, uh, don't try to get it down too neat. It doesn't have to be all that good. Just do a nice, quick, and dirty one, and it's going to be good enough anyway. I concur. I think for reentry, uh, we don't have to have a real active platform, and I haven't told Jack that. Right. Hey, Jim, while you're up and things are nice and quiet, let me uh, give you a couple other things to think about. One specifically, I know none of you are sleeping worth a damn because it's a cold. And uh, you might want to dig out the medical kit there around 135 or in that ballpark and uh, pull out a couple of dexedrines apiece and try one about then or another around uh, 139 to 140. Glad I brought that up. We might, uh, we might consider it. Okay. Donald K. Slayton, Director of Flight Crew Operations, uh, uh, interjecting some comments to the crew from the Capcom console. I wish we could figure a way to get a hot cup of coffee up to you. It probably tastes pretty good about now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Jeez, don't mention That's coffee. Much, uh, you don't realize how cold this thing becomes. Uh, we're in a, in a PTC mode that's slowing down, and I just clocked the cycles uh, from when I see the Earth. It's about 11 to 12 minutes now. And the sun is directly overhead, so it's shining on the engine bell of the service module and not cut down on the spacecraft at all. Hang in there, it won't be long now. Uh, that's right. Uh, as a matter of fact, doing this alignment on the Earth this time will be like uh, making a landing with a fogged up windshield. This is Apollo Control at 133 hours, 11 minutes. At 132 hours, 28 minutes, uh, Capcom Jack Lausma put in a call uh, to the crew. Uh, Fred Hayes responded, and we had him turn on the power amplifier, which uh, in addition to greatly improving the quality of voice communications we get, also gives us ranging data, which the flight dynamics officer is using for uh, making final computations of the mid-course correction to be, be performed uh, in about four and a half hours. Jack Swiger reported that uh, he'd received, gotten about two to three hours of sleep, which he said was not very good sleep due to the uh, cold uh, in the command module. And Swiger said it is almost impossible to sleep because of the cold. Donald K. Slayton, Director of Flight Crew Operations, uh, who's been at the Capcom console a good part of the evening and into this morning, uh, came on the circuit and advised Jim Lovell to consider taking uh, 
dexedrine tablets uh, for the for each of the crewmen. Uh, this is a stimulant contained in the medical kit. Lovell said that uh, they had considered that and would uh, uh, would think about it. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch tanks here. At the present time, Apollo 13 is uh, 60,249 uh, nautical where's miles. Where's the down here. arrow? Okay, there Spacecraft we go. Spacecraft velocity is up now to 7,900 right. feet per second. Yeah, it's just and to make sure we have uninterrupted fuel, fuel flow during landing. We'll continue that to stand by for any... Paul uh, seems to be in the red. We the don't crew. need that. Uh, we don't have any uh, anything planned to pass up to them in the next uh, few minutes or so. One of the things under discussion, however, at the present time... Okay. Mission control. Our procedures so we're at the outskirts to of the, increase the Dallas in the module. metropolitan area. And, uh, Environmental and Electrical Systems Engineer is looking into the uh, power status right now, as far as consumables are concerned, with the possibility, uh, with the possibility in mind of perhaps bringing some additional equipment online uh, in the lem to bring the temperature up there. We're presently showing a uh, cabin temperature in the lunar module of about 54 degrees. And we, although we do not have a measurement on the command module, we presume There's that it is the town of Crum. Lower than that. Interesting. And we'll continue to keep you advised on the uh, status of the discussion uh, going on at present in mission control on the advisability of powering up the LEM more fully to bring up the temperature. There's a ridiculous number of little fields around. I mean, uh, airports, airfields. Probably agricultural, okay, question. Uh, the short turn on, uh, but there's a lot of them. I mean, just only, uh, on really a lot. <laughs> really a lot of them. There's just within, uh, let's see, that's a five nautical mile radius, uh, inner radius, and ten nautical mile outer radius. Look at all the little fields in there. In front of us is the city of Denton. Aquarius Houston, uh, go as the checklist uh, recommends for now. Uh, when you get into the circuit breaker panel, and uh, we're sort of acquiring uh, Interstate 35. Okay. This is Apollo Control at 133 hours, uh, 34 minutes. We're following the progress of the crew as they uh, power up the lunar module, according to the uh, checklist. And at the present time, we show the total average okay, current. Okay, uh, Houston, uh, we'd like to get a hack uh, to set our uh, mission timer here, Jack. Okay, Fredo, uh, set it at uh, 133.35, straight up. You got about 30 seconds to set it. We can see Louisville Lake. Okay, I'll give you uh, the two second delay in there. Stand by to start. Start. Okay, we got it. Got uh, one building okay, down there that's got awkward three, Z fighting. How annoying. Ten. Right on. We're showing about 34 to 35 amps total current now. Aquarius Houston, uh, one other way to warm things up in a hurry in there is when you get your AC on to uh, turn on the window heaters. Okay, 
Okay, uh, I guess the only question I have is uh, uh, what the Tuabla do to it with the, uh, looks like almost a frost on it now. Currently in front of us is the city of Corinth. You should just be able to head south to DFW. Aquarius Houston. Go ahead. Rod, did you get my go for RCS? That's the firm we're going. What we're doing now, Jack, is letting the spacecraft drift in its boat. Oh, to, sounds uh, like a plan. Pick up the Earth again. Hurling down. Okay. I don't want to just go uh, blast around the sky and get high rates because I don't have anything to know the rates on until. Uh, the Earth comes back up again, and once it once I get the Earth in sight, we have no uh, strain on uh, uh, no one rates. There's Louisville in front of us. We can see the airport there. It's got lots and lots of runways. Uh, while there are nice small runways suited for a plane like this, I'll still take a big runway anyway. <laughs> Going in the right direction is helpful. That's right. This is Apollo Control at 133 hours, 55 minutes. So uh, we're the not has, uh, flying over downtown control. Dallas this time. We'll do that next time. We won't. We'll be flying a smaller plane again, though hopefully a somewhat faster one. And we'll be headed to module. New Orleans. Uh, right now, ranging between 45 and 50 amps. You can sort of see downtown Dallas from here uh, in the around the horizon have, uh, to the left, forward left there. Uh, another, another you can see the buildings. To, uh, warming up the uh, limb, and that is that they're beginning a portion of the uh, pre-entry checklist that had been scheduled for six hours prior to entry interface. And that was begun at about nine hours, so. Uh, they'll be getting a bit of a leg up on that uh, portion of the timeline. At the present time, Apollo 13 is... Uh, and, uh, Jack, I guess we haven't changed our angle much uh, with respect to the sun, uh, 93 million miles away, so it ought to be about the same place in AOT, isn't that, uh, Charlie? Hold one on that, Fred. I'll get an answer for you. Do you understand his question? Okay. Guidance flight. Go flight. 
okay, the question that he has is, uh, should the sun be in the same spot for this uh, new burn, this last new course, as it was on the one he did earlier? That's the, the, that's the firm flight, the crest at the top. That's uh, 12 o'clock and DC is 2, right? That wasn't the question, okay, what was the question? Where was the what? Sun, sun in the AOT. In the AOT. Let, let me check and see where the sun is in the AOT, but it's, the sun is above him along the x-axis like it was before. He, he want to know if it's in the AOT? He wants to verify he's got the right attitude by using the sun in the AOT. And uh, he thinks maybe it ought to be the same as it was the last time, which was 12 o'clock in DC2. Okay, let's see uh, landing gear deploy. Whoa, Line there's a serious off. drag with the landing yep. gear. Very good. Okay, uh, his As it should be. Some flaps. Alright. Your uh, ASA is warmed up now. You can uh, activate the egg. Okay. Nope. want to be in the cockpit. Alright. Still a long ways though, especially at the speed this thing goes. Aquarius Houston, uh, when you look out at DC2 and the uh, proper burn attitude, what you ought to see is the sun at 12 o'clock, about halfway between the top of the AOT and the uh, center of the pipper. One downside to having the mission control audio is that it okay. eventually gets to be a lot of people talking over each other. Actually, I've cut out an entire channel uh, of the original of the Apollo and Realtime.org audio. Cut out the right channel because it, there's just too much people talking over another, one another like that. And I wanted to focus on the Capcom communications, which is the left channel. If you put it on cold, it gets warmer. Don't ask me to explain that, but they did see a three-degree increase. If you put it on cold, it gets warmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you heard the audio earlier, you will remember the non-propulsive vents that ended up being very propulsive. Aquarius, uh, something we're thinking about right now is uh, if we can do it without using a lot of RCS, uh, it would be to our advantage time-wise to uh, try to get an alignment. Okay, you mean a uh, P-52? We're I'll take a look around. Uh, combination uh, 51 and 50. I think we've got too many trees. <laughs> There's a lot of trees everywhere. Not too sure if they're all okay, supposed and, uh, to be there. Plan to use the moon and the sun for that. Aquarius Houston on panel 16. I'd like you to close the cross tie bow load breaker, please. Nice traffic on the highway. Looks like we can support a an alignment in a few minutes, uh, if you'd be willing to go ahead with that. Could do with better yeah, textures here at the FW, though. I just get blanket uh, the same resolution when I get the ortho 4 XP photo scenery. 
I know most people get uh, better resolution closer to the airports. That seems like a good idea. I just didn't follow with that aspect when I got it. We're good to go. Are you going to ship us up, uh, Rustman? Yeah, we are. Stand by one. Okay. He's ready for a load, but. Okay, we're not quite ready to get it to him. Okay, I guess we got to get the up that way before it happens anyway. Okay, very gentle. But still, I skipped. <laughs> that was really gentle. I. Whatever. Roger, it'll We're be a few minutes. Data. Okay, and it'll be a few minutes yet, Jim. We're still cranking it up. Okay, stay with Jack, and I'll go back to data. Okay, uh, maybe I can turn that taxiway. Roger. I don't know where this goes. Oh, I'll go there. That looks good. I'm trying to taxi with a tail dragger. It is always fun. At least I've got free reign of the entire place, huh? Okay, I think that's, we can go outside now. All right, well, here we are. Dallas Fourth, Fourth Worth International. And we will proceed on to New Orleans next time. So, as I continue to taxi here, I'll say, and I'll pause the audio so we can pick it up at the right place. I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this flight. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.